All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we are going to be in the lightweight division where Floyd Mayweather Jr., CEO of Mayweather Promotions, adds his two cents to all of this Devin Haney purse split drama with Shakur Stevenson and also has a run-in with Tiafimo Lopez for cloud chasing. The lightweight division right around there is one of the more interesting uh, portions of boxing over the last couple years. And this drama over the last couple days have really brought it to a head once again. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, we are going to talk about the insights of Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s CEO of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellerby, as he adds to the conversation, albeit in an indirect fashion, the conversation that is going on in the boxing world about the 2075-25 split revenue split that Shakur Stevens that Shakur Stevenson was offered from Devin Haney which many people have called a duck other people have said Devin has suffered through many many trials and tribulations and has suffered greatly at the hands of other people so why can't Shakur Stevenson do the same thing also, he talks, Leonard Ellery talks about something that was said by Tiafimo Lopez, which should conservatively fall into the category of severe clout chasing on Tiafimo Lopez's part for Floyd Mayweather Jr. But all of these things are connected. Now, before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you really like the video, consider subscribing and leaving a, com a comment and chopping it up with me about this boxing. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so, so much for your continued support. And this video goes out to Frequent Flyer, the biggest Devin Haney fan on the planet. Um, and sorry, sorry, fella. Got to tell it how it is. But you still, you know what it is. You still my man, 100 grand. But let's have this conversation. Leonard Ellerby went on Twitter and he put out a tweet that said, in essence, that now YouTubers and Twitter are experts on per split, on per splits. They've never managed a fight or promoted a fight before. Man, this is wild. In short saying, a lot of people are talking about purse splits with this purse split and they don't know what they're talking about. And how amazing it is that uh, people act like they should have an opinion about it. Now, here's my thing with this. You don't have to promote a fight or manage a fight to read the rule book for the WBA, the WBC, the IBF, and the WBO. Don't need to. You will know if you read those that if Shakur Stevenson was a mandatory for Devin Haney, which he is not, the lowest amount of money possibly that he would get in the split of the purse bid which should be distinguished from purse from the cut of the pay-per-view money because those are not the same thing. I don't believe they're the same thing. However, the purse split would be 75-25 of the money that would be paid by the promoter that wins the purse bid. And these are in the rules. So if you take that and you say, 
if we are going to take a fight and we just use a percentage that is would be calculated as the lowest amount that a mandatory would get of the purse, it'd be 25%. And I don't know if I've heard of anybody where you have two top level fighters like that, uh, where neither one of them are really much, much, much bigger than the other. And even when they have been, I don't recall ever hearing of a 75, 25% per split, per split. Now, there is the word going around that Devin Haney took 21% of the purse split of Cambosis. That is in direct contradiction to the what was in the press when the fight was made, which was 70-30. However, it was said amongst many Devin Haney fans that, that George Cambosis offered Devin Haney something so low because he was trying to get out of the fight. So I don't know if with all these things considered, right? Not having managed a fighter and because Leonard Ellerby ain't lying, not having managed a fighter, not having organized a pay-per-view, right? Organized a boxing match. That 25%, if it is what the mandated lowest amount is for a mandatory, and never having heard of somebody getting 25% as a voluntary, mm, unless maybe it's somebody like Canelo Alvarez who is fighting David Benavidez, where you have one, uh, excuse me, not David Benavidez, Kayla Plant, and I don't know the numbers on that either. I didn't hear 25%, where you have somebody like that who really is just lopsidedly the pay-per-view star. Not a guy that's selling 100,000 pay-per-views against, in his first time, against Vasily Lomachenko, who is just as big his name as him, 50-50 on the bill, and all of a sudden, boom, this guy's this guy is offering deals to people at 75-25. Just as a novice in that conversation, right? <laughs> Sounds a little extreme to me. Uh, sounds like th what Devin Haney fans said about George Cambosis and George Cambosis' offer to Lomachenko of, to really it's to Lomachenko because Devin Haney took the same offer that was offered to Lomachenko. That's what was said at the time. It's amazing how the stories switch up later on down the road. So now maybe the facts have changed from then to now. Don't know or corrected could have been corrected. How to be fair could have been corrected. However, I think everybody can assume and and safely that that is a that's not a lot of money, and that is in pretty much somebody hit Devin Haney putting Shakur Stevenson in a position where Shakur will not be rewarded financially the way that he believes that he should be, and may serve as a as a um, way to prevent the fight from taking place. I don't think that that is unreasonable. So, and then Devin is saying other things like telling people not to clout chase off his name. I don't know who you guys think Shakur Stevenson is really. Um, and Devin Haney is really, but you know, Devin Haney holds all the belts. Shakur Stevenson is a multi-divisional champion. Shakur Stevenson is Olympic gold medalist. Shakur is selling out, is sold out his stadium, his home stadium in New Jersey, in New Jersey. He is legitimately a top lightweight, just like Devin Haney is legitimately a top lightweight. I don't see this gigantic difference between the two of them in their in their name, in their power, uh, you know, in their selling power and all of that. Also, if I had to attempt to mind read uh, Leonard Ellerby and and how I would do this is I would listen to the things that he said in pat in the past about pay per views. He says, "Dude, it's about the ticket sales." It's about the ticket sales. It's about how much money you bring it in. And if the, the numbers around the ticket sales are true for Devin Haney and and true for Shakur Stevenson. Right. And especially if you consider that that pay-per-view is both the silly Lomachenko and Devin Haney. And it was one time if you're trying to get the averages of things you take, you take the one outstanding thing. You take it out of there and then you pretty much what you're left with. It, what you're left with is the uh, television ratings for Devin Haney and and his fights on ESP on ESPN and 
Shakur Stevenson's and Shakur's is slightly higher, but not so high that it would make, it's not like even really a statistical difference between the two. They're right there. The only thing is that Devin has the belts. If the belts give you 75, 25, I mean, okay, if that's, but that's not a voluntary value. Those things actually cost money. Now on the other side of it though, just to bring in this Tiafimo Lopez thing, cause I didn't want to do a separate video. Tiafimo Lopez is also out here in the la la land of greatness. I'm retired or you not retired, calling out Floyd Mayweather Jr. to have sparring matches with him. Leonard Ellerby's response to that was, man, you just dug, go somewhere. Like, I'm not even going to, not even going to uh, go through the specific thing that Tiafimo Tia Lopez said, but it was like, look, man, you know, I just want to learn from the best. Dog, how about, are you retired or are you not retired? If you are retired, retired. Don't try to go set up Floyd Mayweather Jr. to get to talk about Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s name in the media and then go ask to get a sparring match with him so you can do what a lot of you guys are, have been doing for a while and talk about how you beat up how you beat up Floyd Mayweather Jr. in a sparring match. Because that's the only gimmick that you're about to do. Floyd Mayweather Jr., if you want Floyd Mayweather Jr. to do tricks for you, teach you tricks, sign to Floyd May sign to Mayweather promotions when you're free, and then maybe he'll get into the ring with you and give you some and give you some hints on what to do. But trying to trying to big up yourself by getting in the ring with a nearly 50-year-old man to spar him when you're 25 years old, man, cut, give it a break, man. Beat kick rocks. That ship has already sailed. Anyway. Those, that's my take on those matters. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.